Brian, what kind of questions do you have for me today? How can I help you? I have so many questions. Great. Um, I'm, I love when people come prepared. <laughs> oh, so, so many questions here. I got to turn that down just a little bit. Okay. Um, I am trying to get into murals. I started, I did my first one. It was a blast. Um, I am trying to find more places to do more of them. Um, I've reached out to a couple uh, places so far, kind of just crickets. But um, I, I'm wondering, well, I guess, well, my first question, I guess, that I wrote down is how do I make a, a mural into a photo op? Okay. Um, so just in general, <laughs> it's, we, you can have like a really obvious photo op where there's a spot that's blank that you need the viewer to insert themselves in, or right. you could make just a, a pretty mural that um, serves as a backdrop, like an Instagrammable backdrop. What kind are you wanting to make? Um, I'm thinking probably more backdrop. Okay. Yeah. It's then it's really just up to, um, the viewer if, as to if they want to do like have that as a backdrop or not. Uh, what kind of backdrop are you wanting to make? Um, well, the thing is I have been, the, I've been working on, um, you know, acrylic on canvas stuff, you know, forever. And I've been kind of going into this. It's like nature art and then some abstract and then some affirmations. Okay. And I think, I think that would look really cool on a wall, but I could be wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Especially the affirmation part, the, um, or the, uh, I'm finding people the, really resonate with it. Yeah. Yeah. Like so something simple, like we were going around the streets of Austin, te Austin, Texas one time. And I noticed uh, the most popular one there is just one that has a wall that's spray painted. I love you. And that that's it. And then that's, that's the most popular one. So it's, I don't know that there's a right or wrong answer here of what's the thing that people are going to resonate the most with. Um, but I tend to go for the most uplifting thing. Yeah. Um, maybe sure. some, yeah. something short is pretty good. And then um, girls are the ones who are going to take the majority of the photos with it. I'd say like 90% or more. So mm -hmm about that however not all girls like flowers and pink although a lot of us do <laughs> but um yeah i mean i i specialize in birds so that um that usually checks the box for for that yeah okay um, great. and then it, it also has you know guys like birds too okay <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> right um yeah okay so i am in, in that vein um birds i am trying to do more charity events and live painting because I did have one good time. I, I, I have pulled that off once and it was really cool. Um, I did a, um, a live painting for a trails organization out of Ann Arbor. Um, and it was, it was a great success. Um, I did this little this, you know, 16 by 20 painting of, uh, of a bridge on their trail. Um, and it turns out the uh, the guy who um, auctioned, you know, bought it at the silent auction that they were doing, um, he actually designed the bridge. So, okay, I mean, great. That was, that was pretty cool. Um, but like, and then somebody else bought um, another painting that I had up and was displaying. And so I feel like anytime that I can be the only artist in the room, I'm doing pretty good comparatively. Now I've gotten into a bunch of art fairs as well. Um, and those aren't, going I, th I know that's a slower pace like, like that's a longer game but so i'm not as quite as interested in it i don't know if i want to do quite as many of them as i have planned this year i've like 15 of them this year total oh wow okay yeah. so you got one and then word spread that you would do things like this and now you're booked um art art fairs oh art fairs like the the ones you have to apply for and all that stuff I got into all of those um, and I, I'm trying to, and, and those don't, th those are those situations where there's a bunch of artists around and I don't do quite as well. I want to do more of, I want to get my name 
out there and around for live painting events and stuff like that because that's just that's more fun yeah okay yeah so you, all you have to do is just um find a local charity usually yes. almost every charity locally it does an annual event and they would love to have an artist um i work with uh like habitat for humanity is a good one and there's okay. likely one near you we do mm -hmm. big brothers big sisters um they there's likely one near you as well for that one um okay really those are a lot fine. more general charities than i've been looking at okay those are bigger yeah okay. yeah bigger yep charities. and then um there's any kind of grief center we have a grief center here locally um and that one was, I did that one for, oh, what is it called? It's something grief center. And that was the biggest one that I had ever done with the most um, big name people there. I think my painting went for like 10 grand there. I was wow. like, oh, wow. Which is by far the most that one has gone for. Yeah, um, for sure. So, yeah, you just never know um, what kind of backing each charity has. But you could try, try a bunch out. And it just feels good too to to do something like that. Yeah. Um, so are you, you're, I have read the book. I, I am, I'm. Oh. You froze. I don't know if it's frozen on your end too. Is that my own internet or no, yours? Um, there we go. I am, now, now I can hear you. Um, I am. Oh, shoot. I'm so nervous. I'm so sorry. You're okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> I guess. Um, so go for, for bigger charities. Think about things like Grief Center. Yeah, I, I've been looking at like nature, wildlife rehabilitation places and stuff Ooh. like that. And I've I don't know what happened with the internet. Can you hear me still? Oh, you got you got kicked off. Okay, I'm gonna eat. <laughs> Back. That was weird. Okay. <laughs> um so am i just like kind of emailing them saying hey um i do this here's an example um are you interested yeah yeah i would definitely give um the like the photos that you have of you at the event that you've already done so it's great that you've already done one and you could just say uh, something as simple as in the in the headline um, so like in the email headline, it say something like big brothers, big sisters, um, annual, um, charity night mural or something like that, or no, mm -hmm. sorry, pa painting. And then, uh, you could just make it pretty general, but, um, hi, I'm Brian. I'm a local artist. I paint at um, I, I wanted to offer my services to paint, uh, do live painting at your local, at your you know, annual charity event. Mm -hmm. um, I attached some photos of my work and past events. Um, let me know if you're interested and I can, we can discuss details. So something very, very short and sweet and to the point. Um, and then you can go about this in a couple different ways. You can say something like, um, you know, these are my prices as in um, you just buy, like they can just buy a print from you. This is how, how I do it is mm -hmm. they can just buy a print and that way I'm there not painting a brand new thing. I just, you know, I just hand embellish the print and that way it's already done and it's, it's just, I'm just there putting the fine and finishing touches on it. People could look at something pretty and yeah. And then they auction it off or do with it whatever they want to. Sometimes people just donate it to 
somebody, you know, their highest bidder or, or their highest donor or whatever. But a lot of the times people auction it off in the end. Um, so you also bring your paintings with you to, so you, you mentioned you sold another one there. Yeah. They let me set up, um, you know, a couple Very of little cool. grid walls with some, some paintings and stuff on them. And yeah, Very cool. one of them, yeah. somebody who's really interested in one of them. Yeah. The, the general, the, yeah, the way that we did it was we split the, um, the proceeds of the uh, of the painting 7030, uh, my favor, because they're really oh, nice, nice about it. Um, and you know, anything that I sold there, I gave them 10% of it. Great. Yeah. yeah. There you go. And it was yeah, it was nice to give them, you know, what, 180 bucks or so. That was my little yeah. contribution to the trail. That was pretty nice. So yeah, I want to do do more of that. Um, I just always feel like I'm just like inserting myself into their little events and I'm not always clear if there's if like the auction it off thing is you know always a, what they're doing exactly <laughs> um if so so if, if if it's not like an auction uh, like a silent auction sort of a deal do i um do do i so i'm like offering to to, to sell them the the painting effectively for, for and then paint it there for entertainment purposes uh yeah you could do pure okay. entertainment pure purposes and then you had asked them you know what they want to do you could really a lot of times if you just tell people tell people what you kind of want them to do or what you've done in the past they'll pretty much do that um because sometimes doing live art at an event sometimes people is maybe even the smaller events they've never done that before and they're like mm -hmm. what do we do here what 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 are we supposed to do and so you could just suggest whatever yeah i'm i've been um anybody who has has said yes and like kind of proceeded with that that conversation after i've you know emailed them has kind of just wanted to split the proceeds of whatever we get for it um so yeah that's good so as to like minimize risk which i totally understand yeah um so okay so i will i will try and and pitch to some other ones that aren't necessarily doing that like an actual here's a painting yeah or here's a yeah. print okay yeah and I'd say 70, 30, they were really generous there. Again, yeah. most, most of the time people do like 50, 50. Yeah, um, for sure. Yeah. Very nice. Um, oh man. Okay. So um, I do two kinds of art. I do acrylic paintings, basically. This is one that's in progress. Um, and I do lino cut prints. They're similar. Mm -hmm in nature but i am wondering if doing both of those and putting them both you know together is confusing people and like i i've had to explain it a bunch of times at art fairs um if i should you know commit to just the painting or if lino cut is like not not harming the the painting so kind of if you're, you're doing an original painting and then you're doing a print no, these are um, lino cut prints. They are like you you carve the block and then mm. print them. Okay. Here, I, I got one over here. I can reach. <sighs> yeah, no, I, I think that's completely fine. I mean, okay, because I wonder sometimes I'm... if I'm stepping on my own toes. Oh, no, no. And I think a lot of times you just have to answer a lot of questions. So people, like, even, even I was confused a little bit and it was, and that's totally fine because um, it just, it sparks a conversation and that's good. You know, I have to explain even still the difference between an original and just a print of my work. Um, yeah. And so I think the the general public um, has no idea what that relief print is. And so just explaining to them, it, it, I think it's just kind of cool to just educate someone like that. Yeah. And just, Get, get a conversation going but no i think you could have all different kinds of stuff and start all different kinds of good as long as you're like okay with just explaining it over and over mm -hmm. yeah yeah i've i've figured out some ways to to explain it i've even had like a pull your own print section at uh at my art fair booths um so i have a really big opportunity coming up and again this is art fairs and it's like not exactly like my thing, but I've kind of fallen into it this year. 
So I'm just trying to, you know, make the the best of it. Um, it's becoming more my thing. I've figured out some stuff, but I have an opportunity to be in the emerging artist tent at the Ann Arbor Art Fair. How do I make the best of that? So I don't have a lot of experience with uh, art okay. fairs, but I do know, I know several artists who do it and I'm from very familiar with it. I just, I have never done it. So yeah, my, sure. my advice is going to be a little bit different, but I think the best thing you could possibly do is get contact information from everybody that's coming yes. by and then have something, have like a low, a low, medium and high price tier as well to fit at every budget. I think the, those two things, just getting their email or um, something to where you can follow up. And I think also a really good idea that I've seen somebody do before is you, since you're wanting to do more murals, yeah, you could mm -hmm. do something to where you're giving away a free mural and you could have examples of like the mural that you've done. And then just um, you, like you just really quick, you could just have somebody fill out their name and email and then say, I, I'm giving away a free mural. And then everybody who doesn't win that free mural, uh, you contact and say, hey, thanks so much for entering. This is Brian from the art show. Yep. I, you, if you, you didn't win, but I did want to extend a 50% discount for the mural of your choice or something significant. Yeah. And um, let me know, like, like I have some ideas that I think you might like. Let me know if you're interested in this. And then we can, you know, start the customization process for your um, custom mural. And so just doing something like that. And also, if you wanted to add, you know, what the mural, like, like name, email, and then what kind of mural are you wanting at the bottom? Mm -hmm. That way, whenever you're like picking the winner, you can pick something that you want to do or something that you really want to add to your portfolio. Yeah. And I think that's completely fair because you are doing this for free. And then I would also limit it in the fine print to whatever square feet, whatever detail you want, something that you could knock out in a day. And right. then if they wanted to add on, this is a really good upsell opportunity. You know, when they tell you that and be like, you know, oh yeah, I can do this and I can do this. And then if you want more, we could do this, but you know, I'm happy to come in and do this for free, you know, since you won the drawing. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. That's a foot in the door. Okay. I've, I've gotten like 75% of the way there, but you've explained the other part. Okay. That's good. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think just doing those uh, like mural giveaways, especially in the beginning when you're when you're adding to your portfolio, is a really good way to just get people talking. I know an artist recently who she just did one a giveaway for schools, um, so she had all the schools enter and then she drew one, and then you're getting all the contacts of all the schools, right? Right. And yes. So that would be a good one to maybe do for the summer. If you wanted to get into school murals for the schools for the summer right now, they are setting their budget for the year. Mm. Um, and they're just about to start that. And well, I mean, th there's a lot of that are, they have to end it. So they have to get their budget done by like the end of June. So right. they, they need it right now. So right now would be a really good time to even approach schools. Um, okay. who might have that leftover money. Um, and then they could also budget it in for next year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Schools mm -hmm. are a good, good, good tip. Um, yeah, I just, um, So you're talking about low, medium, and high prices. Are we talking yeah. like low is like five to twenty? Yeah. Okay, medium's something like under a hundred. Yeah. And then everything over that, because I don't actually have anything that's like over like six or twelve hundred. Oh yeah, I <laughs> know you're good. Yeah, no, okay. whatever you want. Really, I think you know, just customization is the main thing that. Yeah. I've right found to get me over that $1,000 mark. It's tough sure. for me to sell a painting that I've done on my own completely for over a grand. Um, okay. And there could be a different, a lot of different factors, but customization, just while you're there sparking a conversation with a customer or potential customer, uh, they're like, oh, oh, I like this. What do you like about it? 
Um, you know, if this was hanging in your home, how would you change it? You know, it are, are these the colors that match your living room? Are you these like, is this something that you would, you could see in one of your rooms or like, you know, be like, and just the words custom and one of a kind, um, those kind of keywords are things that I think can allow you to charge more and okay. also can spark some ideas and just, just asking people what they would want is, is pretty much how I got my jump start. is how I, you know, built my mural business very quickly is just asking people what they want. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There you Is it frozen again? There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. there we go. <laughs> How do you go about um, promoting and creating hype for like a, a prince, like an art prince? Um, how, how are you planning on promoting or creating hype? Uh, I have an email list. I will send things to them. I'll send them like they'll, they'll show up at shows, which is really, really cool. But mm -hmm. I, I'll send them like, here's a thing that I've, I've done at my shop. And like, it's kind of like, it's crickets. Um, so I feel like I'm probably doing something kind of wrong. Mm -hmm. Um, or, you know, maybe it's just not enough, enough people. Um, <laughs> may, maybe both. <laughs> so really the, the more, the more people, the better in general. Yeah. But, um, so your email list, typically, I think the best route for an email list is once a month, just have a general, this is what's happening. And then maybe once a month, have something, have some kind of something special happening. Either you're going to do a drawing for a free mural, or you're doing 20% off these prints, or you're doing some kind of something to where it entices people to buy now, not just saying, look what I made, you know, it's just like a, what, how can you buy now? And this worked really well, well for me recently because I just did an art auction with three of my paintings. And mm -hmm. <laughs> instead of just posting and making a cute reel and getting attention and, you know, sending something to my email list and just saying, look what I just created. I basically said, who wants to buy this and what do you want to buy it for? <laughs> and I did an auction where, you know, bid on the, I did three, it was pink, purple, and blue. And I said, you know, what, what is your, what is your bid on each of these? And I'll let you know if you've been outbid. And I sold them for like 450 each, which is pretty good because I can do about yeah. two in, in one day. And that my hope was to go over 400. Um, but I just, I did it on Instagram and LinkedIn and Facebook. And Instagram had some bidders and LinkedIn had some bidders, but Facebook was crickets. So just, and I have a big, bigger following on Instagram than anything, but yeah. the, I got, had just as many buyers from LinkedIn um, as I did from Instagram and none from Facebook, which is odd, but um, it, yeah. So it's just, you know, saying something like like that you could try an art auction if you want to if you have like a set of prints that you've had around for a while that you don't mind if they go yeah. for a low amount you know um i do my art auctions to last a week that way i can promote it for the whole week there's a deadline i have people bidding against each other i let people know as soon as they've been outbid um i did it on to where people just commented on my photos and videos on Instagram, LinkedIn, and Facebook this last time. But I've also in the past set it up on my Shopify with just a plugin to where people could bid there and it automatically emails them whenever they've been outbid, which is really nice. So I just, you know, I've tried a couple different ways, but I found that, that an art auction is, I think by far the best way to sell something. Um, I've, I think the most I've sold something for through the auction is like five, $600 but I've sold a lot of 50, $100, 150, 200 items. And a mm -hmm. lot of times they're just items that have been hanging around my studio that I really want to get rid of. So, and it's just, it's just saying, and I think part of that is like saying, this is for sale. How much do you want to pay? You know, and just letting them kind of decide like what that, what that price is and how far they'll go up. Because I, I had people bidding on it, bidding on one for there would be like 400 and then 410 and then 420 and then 450. And, you know, and then one guy decided that, um, 
450 was his highest. So I messaged him and I said, okay, I will paint one for 450 for you. And then she can, and then the, the other bidder can have this one. And so I have five other paintings of the same paintings to do on my to-do right. list that I'm supposed to do this week. <laughs> and, um, mm. Yeah, so it, that that was also a great tactic that I used. It was just, you know, if there was two people bidding each other and it went up like as high as they wanted to go, I was like, okay, I'll do one for you and one for you. And they're like, okay, great. And I also, you know, the the one who didn't win or didn't want to go up higher, I'd be like, you know, how, how do you want to customize this? Is there, is there something that you wanted, you want to add? Do you want more clouds? Do you want, do you want this to be purple? Do you want it to be more violet? Do you want this? And just having that customization process, even in that, um, yeah, that it's sold. So I okay. highly recommend art auctions. Okay. Yeah, you're combining every all of these these tactics that I've I've heard of with the customization, and that yeah. that seems to get it over the finish line. Okay. Yeah. So sometimes when when you need it to, I mean, I I painted three, and I was like, okay, selling them as is, you know, and then like I would just start conversations with people who were bidding, um, mm -hmm. maybe even the people who had been outbid, I would message them and say something like, Hey, you've been outbid. I, I know that 300 is the highest you can go. Um, I am, I do have a, the lowest I, mean, I can go on these is 400. I can create something custom for you. If you're willing to go 400, you know, I could, we could do maybe blue and purple. Do, do you like the blue and just starting, starting like that. Anybody who's bidding on it, that's not just bidding like, ten dollars or whatever um i think is worth having a, just a conversation with okay yeah and then you're just putting that up on on your you know various social medias as, as posts and throwing it to your email list as well yep and um i put it up i i i really like the um like having the auction on my website, I think that's a bit more professional. Uh, yeah. So the next time, next time I'm going to do that probably. But yeah, I aimed to post uh, every day, and I probably posted about every other day. But it, I did a video, and then I do a photo, and then I do a collage, and then I do a video or reel, and just kind of trying different things to see who, how I can get it to reach different people. Um, I find that the best things that work best for me on Instagram are reels still. And then the things that work best for me on Facebook are photos. And then mm -hmm. LinkedIn is a mix between photos and videos. It just kind of depends. Okay. Yeah. Um, So I guess it's more of a general question. What do you do when you feel like you got all the wheels spinning, but, but you don't have any traction yet? Like <laughs> I've been, uh, I've jumped into art kind of, you know, full-time feet, feet first, whatever, um, April, March, April or so. And I, everything I can tell, it's it's been going well, but it doesn't it doesn't seem to like make any make it, it's self sustaining, and that's about it. Mm, okay. Like, so, how like, long does like an art? I guess everybody's different, but like, how how long can you expect? How long is it okay for an art business to be just self sustaining and just floating? Before so, I. <laughs> This kind of fluctuates, but I think in the beginning, your first year in business, no matter what year it is, like no matter what business you're in almost, um, the first year in business, you probably don't even expect to make a profit um, okay. your first year. And then the second year, maybe, you know, that's unless, you know, some, some other people have gotten lucky. Like, you know, if you, you have somebody who's like a mentor that's taking you under your wing, that's handing you stuff, then, mm -hmm. then you're going to make a profit. Right. And I wish yeah. I've done that, but yeah. people who don't have that are, you know, you maybe break even your first year if lucky, <laughs> maybe. Right. Um, so like probably living off savings. Um, okay. and then the second year, um, 20, thousand is probably a good estimate um and that's and then the third year and this is for people who are mostly doing murals because that's the mostly the yeah. people who i train um, yeah and the, that's where so, i want to go because i realize yeah, that that's yeah. a much more profitable way to do things 
Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't mind using a bigger brush. That's fine. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then I'd say the second year, maybe making 40,000 and then the third year 70 and then fourth year hundred. I, I think that's probably, that's what I okay. have seen okay. is a good trajectory, but yeah, I wouldn't, don't feel bad at all. And in, in your first year, you're just like barely getting your head, head above water. Um, I recommend like people get either just get like a, a part-time job. Um, mm -hmm. I think that can help uh, just so it's like less pressure off of you. It's like yeah. just enough to just get by. But um, although if you want to make some quick cash doing window painting, I think mm -hmm. is the quickest way. Do you know, have you tried that? you know about that? I haven't done it yet, but I have heard you uh, talking okay. about it a lot. And I have actually seen some around town. Um, okay, great. Yeah. And I think I could probably do better. So, yeah. Yeah. We have the 4th of July is coming up. And the 4th mm. of July was one of my first window paintings that I did from for it was at orthodontics office. So you never know who's going to oh. really people who have customers coming in like an or, or orthodontics office or maybe like a pediatrician's office or uh -huh. somebody who has customers that would enjoy it. I think those are the main ones um yeah people who just have people coming in the door quite a bit maybe um if it's just like an office that doesn't have customers visit then probably not you know but if, if it's a you know clothing store or i pitched it to a, a barber shop one time although they gave me the excuse of which it, it was a good excuse that their their window is primarily you know how they get most of their business because and they, they, they didn't want to cover it up and so i was like well we could just make a frame a really yep. cool frame around it, get people's eye to draw into the window. And then you are still the center of the attention and they still didn't go for it, but <laughs> they, I think some people will. So even just having like a firework frame around yep. there for 4th of July, something. Um, yeah. W window painting is a good one. You're going to wear yourself out passing around out flyers, but it's just, it's a really good way to set yourself up for next year um usually or even the fall and christmas because a lot of times windows they will ask you to come back and mm -hmm. paint the next season and then especially in christmas if you start pass around those window flyers now you're going to be booked for christmas okay yeah i can do that Cool. And you're in Michigan, so that might be kind of cold. But if you wanted to do those windows like right as soon as um, Halloween is over and just stack them in for Christmas and whatnot. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't mind the cold too darn much. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Okay. So I'm, I'm realizing with our conversation here that I've been actually aiming a little too specific. What do you mean? Um, I've been thinking about like, how do I, uh, or I've, I've been thinking about working with nature organizations and trail orgs and stuff like that. And that's good, but yeah. I can aim bigger and more specific with the charities that I work with. Um, and I can probably be a little bit or uh, big, big, bigger, more general, sorry, with the okay. charities that I'm working with. And I can probably be more general with the, the murals as well. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you're definitely not wrong to be specific. Um, you'll probably get more yeses even um, whenever you are more specific like that. But okay. yeah, put it out to everybody. I I paint for a variety of people, and I don't know that like our our local zoo is one. Uh, if you get into the zoo, that would be a good I'm one. The, the zoo you have been. I I've been trying. Um, I I contacted uh, one of the local zoos last week so i will try and follow up with that later yeah yeah um, the the wings that i painted at our at our local zoo the, the photo ops are mm -hmm. one of the main ways that i get recognized around town people are like oh you painted at the zoo like that's just it's a it's a huge thing and i did the zoo paintings for little to nothing but they have gained okay. so much for me um they do have some kind of budget in there so just kind of like you know, be like, okay, well, we could do, you know, one painting every six months or something. And that way they could, you know, pay you. But I mean, I yeah, charged yeah. very little. 
for that. I want to say like a few hundred dollars and they, they paid for the supplies, but then I charged like a few hundred dollars. And then now I just kind of paint for them every once in a while for free. Cause I'm like, okay, whatever. Um, because they, they do, I do get so much business from it. And they also have an annual event every year that I volunteer at. And it's a good one. It's a good one to be at. Okay. Okay. So I will, I will offer that as, as well when I finally get a hold of them or some other dude that's working on that. Okay. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Um, <sighs> okay. So live painting, work with any any charity, see if they'll they'll bite on the uh, on the birds. Um, and uh, doing up a, a custom version of a print. Got it. Um, make a mural into a photo op by just being something that people want to be in front of. Got it. Mm -hmm. Um, lino cuts are, aren't necessarily undercutting the rest of my stuff. Cool. Um, really, um, I mean, a good idea is to find as to find out what people want to be in front of is maybe if you want to create a couple mock ups and mm. you could do something online, maybe post on your social medias, three different mock ups and then ask people which one would you more likely to stand in front of to take a photo. And it gets people talking and gets people's opinions going. And you don't necessarily have to listen to them specifically um but i think it can help uh mm -hmm. just to get word going and um maybe try to get some spots around town that might be available as well yeah okay yeah uh, yeah customer feedback customization even with even with that photo ops and whatnot right right that's that's yeah. the other thing that i'm learning is you you if you customize it they're more likely to go for this you know, yeah and, and i think because i like there there's definitely two different routes where to be an artist like you know there's the artist that does exactly what they want to do and they you know, sell paintings that way and that's totally possible um i think it's just it's gonna it takes a lot longer to get started with that. Yeah. And so it just takes a lot more patience. And so you could totally do that route if you wanted to um, just having to have like some kind of other income coming in or, or maybe like if you want to do, you know, murals for other people on the side and do, then do also what you want. Like you could totally do that as well. I don't want to discourage you to, as to you know, just do what everybody else wants you to do, but no, totally. it is a way I think it's if you want to if you don't mind being an artist for hire and you're like me and you're more here to make money so mm -hmm. I can go live my life and do other things. Um, that is that's the way that to do that. I've found okay. but now I'm like gardening and I'm doing other stuff and I'm like, I don't necessarily want to just like create my own art all the time. It's not really I want to just do other things. But yeah, whatever you want to do is totally possible. It's it just sometimes it just takes longer. Okay. Good, good to know. That's just a, a balance there. I will, I can work with that. Gosh, I had like so many questions and then it it's like sometimes you you listen to, to these podcasts that, that are like these art coaching podcasts and the, the person on there sounds like, like, like one of those people that you'd be like yelling at the TV about like a game show or something like, come on, man. Um, and so now I totally know how that feels to be on the other side of that screen. Uh, <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> I'm trying. Um, so I've gotten some prints made of my paintings. Um, real quick, an eight by 10 is 30 enough. It's 30 reasonable for that or? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. I have like a 16 or uh, well, it's 12 by 16 that I'm thinking like 50. It feels maybe a little bit low. Um, and then I have this idea that I'm gonna, I'm trying to pull off. I got this guy. Woo, Very cool. Way. Oh, I love oh, shit. Wow. Oh, yeah, oh. this one, it's a peacock. I call it spectacle. Um, I love gold in my, in my um, canvas paintings. Um, yes and exploring all of those sorts of things. But um, I'm thinking 
it's an 18 by 24. I'm thinking ordering 16 by 20 prints and then putting gold leaf on them. And I'm thinking okay. sell those for like 150. Yeah. That's okay. Great. Yeah, I'm trying to like pre-sell them, but I'm kind of getting crickets. So I'm realizing I probably have to buy a couple of them myself and then do it and then show oh, okay. people and they'll Maybe. be more likely. It seems sometimes yeah. like you have to show people exactly what it is when you're when you're doing something like this. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. And just show them the goals. Like I, th I think yeah. that, that's even a good video of just like putting the light on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's how I'll, it, that's its own promotion cycle. Okay. Yeah. Is there any way, I, I'm not super familiar with the printing relief thing, but is there any way for people to like you to have like a print, uh, a, a relief print, and then somebody to come and like make and like roll the ink on it and do them mm -hmm. the, themselves? That's what I've been doing actually for the last oh. uh, couple of art fairs. Okay, um, good. Yeah. It's been okay. It's been okay. Kids love it. Um, and the idea so far is that I I'm teaching the kids. You cut out again. Are you there? Can you see me? I don't know. Um, it's been moderately successful. It's okay. been okay. It's been okay. Um I feel real weird trying to charge for the prints, so I don't because they come out really bad. <laughs> but like that's also part of the, the the charm of it. They can also start to realize like, oh, lino cuts are actually kind of hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think even just charging like a really small fee, like five bucks or something, to do some or like okay. a dollar. I don't know. Okay. I don't know something because you are using your supplies, you know. Yeah, I think, yeah. yeah, probably free, probably undervalues it a little too much. Maybe, yeah. Okay. Um, well, I think I think that's what I got. I have some local companies to, to try and um, introduce myself to. Um, I was in the Artist Academy um, stuff, the Mural Masters yesterday, yeah. reviewing the the pitching process and and did send an email it felt a little in, impersonal um but mm -hmm. i i'm hoping for the best um sometimes i i i think the brevity is probably good for me i tend to ramble a little bit um, yeah so how many times do you follow up on something like this before you're like okay well they're just not like three or four um so what do you mean it sounded a little did, did you customize it how did um, you oh i um well in this particular set one i um there's a, a local yoga studio and i was looking through their website and they do wall yoga and i'm like well how cool would it be for that wall to have like a really cool chill calm sort of like a mural thing going on there right yeah. like even real low res just like A bunch of different ways you go about it right um and i said hey um i i it would i have some ideas and my my name is brian i'm a local muralist i have some ideas about your your yoga wall <laughs> um uh let me know if that's something you'd be interested in and then you know my name and number. perfect okay um yeah, sometimes I, would... I just need the someone to tell me. Yeah, that's all you need. You're good. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. good. And then I would follow up. Usually, I follow up about a week later, and then if they don't okay. respond, I, I follow up about two weeks later, and then I follow up like a month later after that. Um, okay. So I just double the time that I follow up with, and then you're allowed to. I mean, I would. You could even then it would be a good idea if that studio yoga studio has windows, you could mm -hmm. go and with your window flyer say, Hey, I'm Ryan. I emailed you guys about this, blah blah blah. Like I also do windows. Do are you interested in this? Like, are you guys <laughs> interested in the in the thing I emailed you about? Like kind of like double them. Right. Right. Okay. Got it. Hey, I happen to be in the neighborhood. I emailed you guys. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. 
Thank you yeah. for your time and your patience. Sure thing. No, you're you're totally good. Um, I think it's just it's just remember it's so tough in the beginning and it sucks, and but it's worth it. It's just yeah. I think you're doing the right things. You're watching the videos and you're putting it into action, which is way more than a lot of people do. A lot of people join the academy and they don't do anything, and then they're like, they, and then they, then they leave because they get. And they're like, this is not working. And then they send one email and I'm like, oh, like, but you're, you're doing that. You book the call and you know, you're, you're sending the emails and you're, you're going to go pass around the flyers and you're, you're, I can tell that you're going to make it work. You care, you know, you care and you're doing the things and it, it will. So I, I just keep doing the things. And if you have any questions, just post those in the Academy and we will be happy to help you. There's so many people in there that have been exactly where you have been and uh, you know are right now and they know the struggles and even just you know just posting something in there of like with the email that you're sending and then having five people chime in and say hey you know i i sent this to a a yoga studio and it worked you know like there you, you know you never know who we have in there that it not because not just me you know i have my own mm -hmm. ways of doing things that, that work for me um but there's so many people in there that have different ways that have worked for them and could work for you too and we're always ready to help try to encourage you because we need more artists out there to be doing what you're you know you're pitching to do and there's room for you in your town as well and yeah, I'm interested to see where you're going to be in a year. I think you'll be you'll have several more jobs under your belts and pitching will be easier and yeah, it only gets easier from here. This is the hardest part you're going to be at. <laughs> that helps. Okay, that good. Helps a lot. Yeah. Cuz it is yeah. hard. <laughs> yeah, this part kind of sucks. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just remember even going and hanging out with my friends was hard when I was in that you know, starter phase because it's just like it affects your whole life. Like it affects yeah. your confidence. It affects everything. It just affects how much you can spend at dinner with your friends. Like it's like yeah. it's just it's, it affects everything. And it's just I'm in such a good place now of just not having to worry about it anymore. And that's why I created stuff like this. And it like and I'm willing to help you in whatever you need. So you, you can do it. OK, good. Yeah. Yeah, let me know if you have any questions. And oh, well. yeah. Okay. Thank Good you. luck. Yeah. Yep. Bye. Bye. <laughs>